Good evening, everyone, and welcome to another Monday night no NTX, not no tanks, same thing, no tanks live stream. So uh, we've got some good news. The pool sessions start uh, next uh, week, which is Thursday the 20th um, is the first night at Kingston, a New Mordom session. So there will be tickets on sale on uh, Eventbrite. Look it up in Facebook. Come on down. Obviously, we're limited by numbers, but there will be a full standard uh, uh, yin session. Uh, and the other sessions should open up to follow. So tonight, I am going to follow up on the last couple of weeks of live streams. The, the uh, a few people have contacted me asking, uh, could I be a little bit more specific on how to dive deeper? And I pondered it for a while and thought, how can I generalize to everybody who wants to watch this video how to go deeper? Especially if we're not going to kind of give any sort of... Uh, numbers or have numbers as a goal and I actually realized that it's it's completely fair to want to go deeper even if you don't know the depth um, there might be something that you want to do there's uh, a place that you want to dive and check something out so there's many reasons why you might want to the first thing uh, so that's what we're going to do tonight before we do that, I'd like to just correct myself on the last couple of weeks. So, last couple of weeks, I've been saying there are three reasons that will limit uh, a dive. And if we look at something like a depth dive, a constant weight dive, or you know, a self-powered dive, should we say, um, they're going to be the hardest of the of the um, disciplines but there's three things there's equalization breath hold and fear and one of these things will be what's limiting the you know you your dive one of these things uh, and last week and the week before I said these are just symptoms so it's not okay to come back and when somebody says why didn't you go deeper and you just say equal oh, I couldn't equalize and then Kind of forget it because that is not an answer why didn't you go deeper couldn't equalize why couldn't you equalize because without the second why couldn't you equalize then you have no way of practicing and improving equally well uh, why didn't you you know what stop why why did you turn uh, why did you you know kind of come back uh, my breath hold why was your breath hold you know, an issue. Was it because you were expending too much energy? Was it just your breath holds not, um, you know, you everything was perfect, so you need to practice on just your breath hold? Were you not moving efficiently? Did you have your eyes open on the way down so your brain was going over? Why? Why was your breath hold, you know, the issue? Uh, or equally well, why, you know, why did you, uh, you know, turn around? Why did you, you know, come back? I was scared. What were you scared of? Because without the second what or why, you have nothing to work on. You have no way of improving. So what were you scared of? I don't know, really. You've got to do the dive again. And honesty comes into this play. Yeah, honesty. What were you scared of? In, you know, in, Until you get, know what you're scared of, then you, you can't kind of work it out. But, so that's what I said last week. But... There is another thing that could limit the dive, which I didn't put on this list, and it's fairly specific. Uh, it's only going to be people 60, 70, 80 plus meters, okay? And the thing that could limit your dive, it's not one of the three things, is narcosis, the narcs. Okay, so I've scrawled it in there, number four, narcs. And this is slightly different. 
because you can't ask why were you knocked well you can but the answer is because i was deep so uh the way to get through knocks is um exposure to it so you get used to it your body gets used to it so it's the fourth reason and it's valid it is valid it could be a thing that limits your dive you could i i thought about whether we could kind of push it into the fear type thing but it's not a, a fear thing uh, if you haven't been deep for a while you need to go deep and get used to it and acclimatize to the narcosis um, before you come back so it's a it's a valid reason oh what why did you why did you stop at that depth what was what was the, what was the reason you stopped narcosis okay then you need to do it again a couple of times spend a bit more time there get used to it okay so I thought I'd correct myself from uh, you know, last week. So going back to the original three things, um, I also mentioned last week that all of your training, all of your training will just be trying to improve those three things, one of one or two or three of those things. And we have broken them down into the aspects um, no tanks have broken them down into the 10 aspects, the five areas of 10 aspects. And this is uh, the diagram you'll see. And these are the 10 things you need to train to develop as a free diver. Okay. And your training schedule should have each of these 10 aspects in a decent ratio. Um, otherwise, you're going to have a weak link in your, in your, uh, training in your progression okay so i mentioned that again last week and a couple of people asked about it so i thought i'd put up the the scott the scott the screen shot of the 10 aspects so these are the 10 aspects this is how we break down our training and the reason we're training these 10 aspects is just for these three reasons okay that's it so let's go uh, headlong into tonight's live stream and how to dive deeper. Right, okay, so number one, your first question you must ask yourself, and this comes back to honesty, is why do you want to go deeper? Without an honest answer as to why you want to go deeper, you are going to fall over in your training very quickly. So basically, you've got... Uh, and very, very basically, very, very generally, you've got two uh, reasons. One is competition. So uh, you are uh, a competitive freediver and you're working along that route, which is absolutely fine, but it is just a tiny proportion of people. Um, the second um, answer that some people will give, I've got to be very careful what I say, is um, you're using depth as a judgment of improvement and this is really really dangerous so why do you want to go deeper because i don't feel i've improved unless i've got bigger numbers and the next part of that question will be well when are you going to be happy when are you going to stop if you get 30 meters are you going to quit if you get 32 meters are you going to quit if you get to 64 meters are you going to quit so it's an open it's it's a it's a, an open question a, a dead question it doesn't work well i want to improve so uh, i need to have bigger numbers and it's so it's it's kind of doesn't work from that side but equally well it doesn't it limits you it hugely limits you in two massive ways if you say why do you want to go deeper because the bigger numbers show an improvement. What happens if one day you don't go deeper? Do you think, oh man, I've, I've plateaued, I've quit, that's it, I can't go deeper? What happens if you have a day where you've got a bit of a cold? What happens if you've been, you go on holiday for a week and you've got a bit of a cold? And you're not going to get those extra numbers. Do you quit? Do you think the week's a failure? Well, you will do if you think the numbers are a mark of improvement if you look back at the aspects 
These are the 10 ways that you can improve your diving. Okay? And it basically comes back to awareness. Okay? Awareness of how you're diving. Okay, so you've got a cold. Okay, so the second uh, reason is that you haven't got the depth. So what do you do? Well, I, 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 I haven't got the depth. Or you haven't got a decent enough or a decent enough setup, or your buddy's not up to safety in, so what? You're just going to go, oh, well, I can't go deep, I can't go long, that's it, I might as well not train. No, you're not. Okay? So this is why using numbers to show your improvement is, it falls apart very quickly. Okay, It's very hollow. And on top of that, just narrow training for the numbers is not a good way to train. All right? In a very specific training, it's not good for you. All right? You want to train in a much uh, more holistic approach that gives you options um, what to do, but equally well, your progression will be much, much better. Okay. So, number one, why do you want to go deeper? And when you've used honesty to get that answer to number one, why do you why do you want to go deeper? Then you can move on to the next, the next thing. How do you go deeper? Well, I was going to say on this uh, live stream question: What? How do you go deeper? Answer: Stretch. Thank you very much. Good night. <laughs> Pretty much, that's ninety percent of the time, or maybe eighty percent of the time, uh, the answer. Stretch, stretching, bedtime stretches. Link in the description, bedtime stretches. The reason we say this is because most people don't live next to the AC where they can train every day. Most people have got jobs. So you can do bedtime stretches every day. When you're not in the water, you can do bedtime stretches. So you've got to have this as you know your mantra. I want to go deeper. I best do my bedtime stretches. They only take you know, under a minute, maybe two minutes max. You can do it every day. But moving on from the stretching information in the, in the bottom, that's going to uh, help with equalization. And also ETT and Bombilla. We went through this two weeks ago when I was talking about equalization. Links in the description about how to use an ETT, how to use a Bombilla. But you need to go to the bottom of your dive, and it doesn't have to be precise. Obviously, if you're diving deep, okay, there comes a point where numbers have to be involved. You can't just say, I'm going to dive to, uh, uh, can you safety me? At some point, you've got to give a, you know, an idea of depth. But it doesn't have to be specific. It doesn't have to be you know, 51 and a half meters. It doesn't have to be you know, 29. I'm going to dive to 29 meters, okay? Roughly. And that's purely for safety. So purely your safety diver knows roughly where you are, okay? So they know whether you're going to go out of sight. They're going to know how long it's going to take you to come back, okay? So depth plays a part in it but it's very general a safety diver doesn't care whether you went to 30 meters 29 meters 31 meters they don't care yeah and even in the very deepest dives when i've been working with world champions the difference between in the dive between 120 and 123 yeah there's technical differences for the diver but for the safety system, it doesn't matter. You don't need to have that precise. So soften the numbers, even if you do have them, for safety. Okay, so so we get numbers, the bottom of your dive, okay? And you might not know the bottom of your dive. It just might be where the, where the reef is. It might be at the top of a swim through, and you're thinking, okay, I, want, I, I really want to kind of get this swim through. I want to nail this. Or... You know, if you're spear fishing or if you're photography, where there's a specific kind of you're waiting for fish, uh, or you're waiting for a specific angle on the on the on the camera, doesn't matter where the bottom of your dive is, and it will change. This is the other thing people 
get hit up on with numbers. Your bottom <laughs> will change depending on whether it's dark, cold, you know, in the sea, uh, lake, uh, because of the waves, not necessarily, not because of the salt. I know people, oh, yeah, it's different in salt water, fresh water. It doesn't make that much difference. It's more the waves and the setup. Okay, and the setup will change. Okay, okay so get to the, you need to get comfortable. Okay, to go deeper than where you currently go, and we're not talking about numbers, we're just talking about your awareness of where you are and your awareness of your dives. Right? You need to be able to stay at that, at your current kind of bottom of the dive for a good 10 seconds, say. You know, no, now we're not talking about doing deep statics, that's something that I don't really believe helps that very much it's very easy to get into the ego side of thing hang on i got the button <laughs> ego it's very easy to go into the ego side of deep statics where yo know, well, i held my breath for this long at this depth it doesn't really add up to going deeper it just it's just more numbers that you can tell people the safety aspects get a little bit sketchy as soon as you're doing deep statics so i don't really kind of uh, um you know, go with it. I don't really like deep statics as a training exercise. But going to your bottom and staying there for, you know, five, ten seconds is what you want to be doing. Because you want to be truly comfortable at your depth. So it's not a matter of touching it and coming back. And, well, I did this depth. Again, numbers. I did this depth. Can you put the rope a little bit deeper? You're never going to go a little bit deeper. If, if, if the last time you went there, touch and came back. You can get there, just hang around three, four, five seconds, chill, have a look around, then come back. You know that you've already got over that breath hold. You know you've got over the breath hold part of it. The second thing is the fear. So, first time you do it, second time you go there, you confirm that you can do the dive. And we're not talking necessarily depth always, you know, it could be, you know, a long or through or something. And then you've got a, a series of dives. The first one, you, yeah, you've done it. Second one, you, you kind of confirm that that wasn't a fluke. And this, it, it ne very rarely, well, it's never a fluke because you've worked hard to get there. But it's it's con subconsciously, it's, it's nice to do it and confirm it wasn't a fluke. Then you've got maybe... Four or so dives where you get truly comfortable with it. As in, yeah, I'm going to do that dive again. And not, okay, can you, I, I'm going to do that dive again. Can you watch me? And I'm gonna, okay, That's not comfortable. When you say, yeah, I can do that. I'm going to go down there. I'm going to you know, kind of hang out for you know, five seconds or so. Chill, comfortable, comes back to honesty. Yeah, truly comfortable. And that can take four, five, it could, be take, take, could take ten dives. Don't rush it. Get truly comfortable with being at that place. Honesty. Honesty. You're truly comfortable. Right. And then, when you're truly comfortable there, you're starting to set up the next depth or the next progression in the dive if it's through or round or whatever it is. So, whether it is the seventh or the, you know, 15th dive to that place. You go there and you spend those 10 seconds holding on a rope and truly going, well, I am, I'm comfortable now. I've done that one. I've got a breath hold. I've done that. I've been here for, you know, I've been here a few times and hung around for, you know, five, 10 seconds. So I've got a breath hold. I'm comfortable with it. Okay. Unpack. See if you can equalize. Okay, so equalization's done. And honestly, go through the reasons what are stopping you or did stop you. By this time, you, you're probably ready to go to that next, that next stage. But it's important that you acknowledge it and take time and go, well, actually, I was, I was scared, but, you know, it, it's, it's, I don't know, maybe it's a swim through. Maybe it's a short swim through. And you've looked at it. Oh, I can't do it. I'm scared. You do the you do the process. So you go there. Make sure you can get to that depth or wherever it is. Get to that level. 
confirm it by a second dive and then take four or five dives to really get comfortable and yeah, yeah, easy, I can do this. It's cool, super easy. And then you do the next one, just dive seven, at least dive six, but dive seven. And think about it. Why couldn't I do it? Was it equalization where you can unpack and check that? Was it breath hold where you've been there for 10 seconds so you know that? Or was it fear? It comes back to honesty. And how are we going to alleviate that fear? Well, I've been there. You can look at it. You know, you can assess it. You can swim around it. And you can get over that fear. And this ha this is the same for depth. This is the same for swim throughs. This is the same for photo opportunities. Okay. But it all comes back to honesty because it's super. And I've seen it so many times. And it's so upsetting when somebody comes back. <laughs> yeah, that was easy. <laughs> uh, no, it wasn't. Because you're out of breath. And if you're out of breath, then yeah, maybe you can go a little bit further. But there's no point in going a little bit further until you can do that depth without being out of breath. Because, you know, it's only going to get harder. The, the, the breath hold or the exercise, the, um, you know, the, the workout is going to be harder when you go further, deeper or whatever. So if you come back out of breath and say, oh, man, that was easy. <sighs> felt like a dream. Well, yeah, it might have felt like a dream. It, yeah, brilliant. But you're not going to go any further until you can come up without breathing hard. That doesn't matter whether it's depth or whether it's, sorry, depth or, or distance and you see this too many times with dynamic as well people come up and and it was hard it was clearly hard yet they thought oh, i'm going to do some more meters i'm going to do a bit further you go what's the point unless it's numbers unless you want to tick off the next distance what's the point get comfortable with that distance and i've seen record holders who you know, they have real struggles and, and sometimes in the worst case scenarios, they, they kind of black out doing a record. And then you know, maybe once, maybe twice even, and then they get the record and then they move on and then they move on. And and, and it's, this one's hard and, and, and they maybe black out or whatever and then, and then they move on. And actually, when they get to, the, to this distance, they could have done this one super easy. So the question is, why didn't they train properly and get this one easy and then move on and keep that one easy as well? Why don't they make it hard, black out, or you know, just really ugly dives? Okay, I've ticked it off. Next one. Ah, really hard work. Okay, I've got that ticket off. Next one. And this one's easy. So why didn't they just train properly? This one's easy. And train properly till this one's easy, and then train properly until this one's easy. It's so much better for the bo body and for the mind. The progression is much more. Uh, you know, um, you can keep it going. I can't remember the word. You know, you can keep it going if the dives are easy. As soon as it gets hard, your subconscious is. Oh, I don't want to do that again. That was hard work. So build up that knowledge about yourself build up the awareness it comes from honesty so let go of e ego really be honest and think of the three reasons what stopped that dive and that's it that's my um that's my how to dive deeper okay That's it. Thank you very much for joining me. Any questions? Oh, let's have a quick flick across. Uh, nice moustache. Thank you very much, Dasa. I like it myself. Um, no questions? Live? That's fine. If you put them in, in, uh, in the comments in the video, I will reply to them. If you message me directly, uh, info at no tanks, you can email me, you can find me on Facebook. Uh, we are now doing one-to-one -one sessions. You can do a half day or a full day one-to-one -one session in open water, whatever your level. Okay. If you've never tried it before and you want to taste a session, we can book that up right through to if you're uh, really experienced and want to tweak 
some really advanced techniques. We can do it at the moment. We can book you up. Okay. Um, don't know why I said that at the moment. We can book you up. So give us a call and even and we can do it online. We can do it hopefully in the pools from next week and we can do it in open water, whichever you fancy. So let us know. Thanks for joining me and I'll see you next week. Ciao, ciao.